There is a stretch of water between the tip of South America and Antarctica. It is called the Drake Passage. Captain Federico Guerrero and his wife Laura K.O. Smith call these waters home. Sailing in some of the most remote and beautiful waters on the planet, Fetty and Laura have explored these waters for years from their home port of Ushuaia, located on the Beagle Channel. The ocean tramp has logged hundreds of nautical miles sailing the fjords of southern Chile to the Argentine island of Isla de los Estados, south to the Antarctic Peninsula. Each voyage on the ocean tramp is committed to bringing awareness to everyone sailing with Coyote expeditions. Scientists of different disciplines are noting the fragile conditions concerning these remote regions. New ideas of how to better understand this area will help us preserve and protect these pristine environments. Millions of years of natural sculpting in this area has carved out for us today one of the most complex and alive ecosystems in the world. One example within the flora of this area is the native linga tree. Pangaea, the supercontinent of 175 million years ago, was home to the linga tree. As Pangaea broke up, the linga tree found itself drifting along with the creation of new continents such as today's Australia, New Zealand, and New Guinea. Today, new discoveries are being found in both the flora and fauna ecosystems throughout the fjords and islands of South America's southern cone. Fossilized linga trees have even been discovered on the Antarctic continent. In the words of Charles Darwin, the region may best be described as a mountainous land partially submerged in the sea, so that deep inlets and bays occupy the place where valleys should exist. Darwin had his first sight of glaciers when they reached the channels on January the 29th, 1833, and wrote in his field notebook, it is scarcely possible to imagine anything more beautiful than the barrel-like blues of these glaciers. Some 10,000 years ago, native inhabitants occupied this area. The Yagan lived here and were known as the Canoe Indians. The region was discovered by early mariners from Magellan in 1520 to Fitzroy in 1831. After this, the Yagan faded from the pages of history. The harsh weather has acted as the catalyst in the preservation of this entire area. These pristine areas speak for themselves. The beauty and breathtaking magnitude found here is like no other on Earth. The lessons of how it is here can be the example of how it should be everywhere.